Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I am going to be talking all about my six months locked so far, as well as my little horror story from a lactician that ruined my hair. But we're going to talk about that in the video. So if you guys want to see that and hear all about it, just keep on watching and I'll see you in the video. All right, guys, I'm going to try my best to keep this video as short as possible. So I only focused on three pros and three cons. And I guess I will give you the cons first because, hey, good news last is always a good thing, right? <laughs> so my first con is that I am noticing that my hair is flaking. Well, my scalp is flaking. I'm having a lot of flaking in my scalp and I don't know why and I'm panicking. So like all you beautiful lock gurus out there, please help me. Why is my scalp flaking? And I've never had this issue, not even as a loose natural. So I'm kind of a little um, concerned. I'm not worried. I would say I'm concerned. I feel like maybe if I wash my hair, I'll be fine, but then I don't want to dry my scalp out. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I'm noticing a little bit of dry scalp and I don't like that. So if you guys have any tips, definitely leave them in the comment section below because I definitely will appreciate them. My second con is the fact that my hair does not like bonnets. Okay. For some reason, no matter what I put on my head at night, I wake up without it. So if there is a specific bonnet that you guys use or a hair tie or something that you guys use that keeps your hair uh, covered at night, please let me know because either my head is too big or I sleep crazy and I wake up without the covering and it, it actually drives me insane and I'm not very happy about that. And I don't want lint or fuzzies in my hair and now that it's coming on to winter time, I'm starting to sleep in more like warm pajamas and I don't want lint in my hair because I know it's so hard to get it out. And my third con is going to be the same thing that I've been complaining about for the past six months is that my ends are unraveling and they're not as bad because I did go through and braid a couple of the ends and I know that a lot of people are like don't braid your ends it's gonna make your hair look weird fine whatever but I was the one that's dealing with the unraveling and it was driving me insane so I braided a couple of the ends and I have not been seeing a lot of unraveling compared to my first two to three months but I'm still noticing that it's unraveling and there's a couple of them that I'll like run my hand through my hair and ooh, child like I'll like hook one of them and I'm like oh my god I just lost my whole lock so um yeah my my con I guess that's like my biggest issue is that my hair is still unraveling and I know it's gonna take time for it to lock but I am halfway there because a lot of people say it takes anywhere between six um it takes anywhere between a year to a year and a half for your hair to lock and I'm already six months in. So fingers crossed it takes me a year for my hair to lock, okay? <laughs> now let us move on to the pros because that's what we're all here for, all the good stuff. So my first pro is going to be and will always be the fact that I can get up out of my bed in the morning and keep it moving. The low maintenance aspect of having micro locks slash mini locks slash DIY locks slash sister locks if you got that kind of money <laughs> you know is the fact that it is low maintenance I can literally wake up in the morning take my bonnet off if I don't sleep it off spray my hair with some water and just keep it moving okay and to this day that is my favorite thing and I will stick by it until the day that I die. My number one pro is how low maintenance this hairstyle is, okay? <laughs> my second pro is the fact that my reties seem to be lasting a bit longer. Now I don't know if that is because I've stopped playing in my hair or my hair stopped growing, which I don't think is the case, or just the fact that my hair is getting used to being locked. So I got my hair done maybe the beginning of September I want to say and it is like the middle of October now and I really do not have a lot of new growth so I don't know if my hair is growing slower or if my retie is just lasting longer but whatever it is I'm not complaining because I don't have to sit down in a chair for four hours to get my hair done so it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned 
Now, the third pro that I have might be specific to my hair type. I'm not really sure, but if this happens for you too, let me know because I'm really curious to see if it's just me. Um, I'm noticing that my hair is keeping a lot of moisture. So compared to my loose natural days, I was complaining about this on my Instagram the other day. So if you aren't following me, you can follow me here right here that's my name so follow me on instagram um i was complaining about the fact that my hair felt so soft and moisturized and in my loose natural days it would never i would have done anything to have my hair feel this moisturized and this soft right now like in my loose natural days because if if my hair felt like this in my loose natural days i don't think i would have ever locked my hair um but i was complaining about the dryness like i had so much dryness my hair literally felt like it was just like breaking and just brittle and i don't even know what so half of me is like i wonder if it was the products that i was using that was drying out my hair or what it was i'm not sure but my hair has been retaining moisture like nobody's business like it is soft to the touch um it flows it's not dry nothing crazy and i'm just like i love it i love it so i don't know if that is a pro for anyone else or if anyone has um noticed that but let me know like i said if you have noticed that your hair is more 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 moisturized now that it's locked compared to when you were loose natural all right guys so this part i'm gonna try to keep super super short i'm just gonna give you like the main points or i'm gonna spark notes it as i like to say so i went and got a professional retightening for the last one because i've been working full time back out in the field not remotely like i do not have time to be handling my hair and i was making a lot of mistakes and all of that good stuff so i looked up a loctician that i wanted to do my install so i said you know what i was going to trust this woman to install my sister locks so i could probably trust her to do my retightening so i got there eight o'clock appointment no problem we were both there on time everything was fine and she starts my hair so she started doing this side of my hair first and then she starts complaining about the fact that my hair is too small. She's like, oh, your hair is too small. Your hair is too small. I didn't know your hair was this small. So I said to her, I said, yeah, well, I told you I had micro locks in my hair. And I told you that I had about 500 locks. I don't know if I have 500 locks because I never counted. Um, or I should say I lost track when I was counting, but I digress. So she's doing my hair, doing my hair. It hits about 12 o'clock and she barely finished one half of my head. And she goes, I'm going to have to stop because I have other clients because I booked you for three hours. So I said to her, okay, no problem. Are you going to finish my hair? So she says, yes, I'm going to finish your hair. Okay, no problem. She stops my hair, does like a retwist of the traditional retwist for another guy. And um, then she comes back and she's doing my hair. At this point, she starts doing this side of my hair and she's complaining now, like fully complaining. She's like, oh, you know, some of your locks are too small. Some of your locks are too big. This one doesn't do it. This one shouldn't be separated, blah, blah, blah. And she's just complaining over my head. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I'm coming to pay you to do my hair. I'm paying you for a service. Why are you complaining? I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. Like if I'm, if I'm paying you for a service, that you are a professional in or that it is your specialty i don't think you should ever be complaining about it or if that's the case do a consultation before you book an appointment so that you know what you're getting yourself into no problem whatever fine so i say to her well i told you that i had a lot of hair and that i had micro locks and whatever she's like well i'm gonna have to charge you extra because you know it's taking longer i only had you booked for three hours and i'm like but you just stopped to do someone else's hair. Oh yeah, but I did the three hours before and your hair wasn't done. So we're going back and forth. And I was like, you know what? Just finish my hair. I will give you the extra. I don't care. I just need my hair done because I cannot manage doing my hair by myself right now. So she said, okay. So then she stops my hair again to do someone else's hair. And I didn't say anything at this point. I'm like losing my mind. And I realized that she's doing my hair so tight that I'm like, my head is hurting me. Like, really really hurting me so she gets to about like the last section up here and I say to her um do you mind doing it a little bit looser it's a bit tight do you know what this woman says to me oh you wait till I'm almost done to tell me that I'm doing your hair tight 
first of all, what does it matter? Like, it could be the last one. If I'm telling you not to do it tight, just don't do it tight. That's it. I don't understand how you fighting with me and complaining about doing my hair when, again, I am paying you to do this. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't. I really don't get it. So she finishes my hair. I pay her. She charged me like an extra $20. So I was like, whatever. I left it at that. And I get home and my hair looked like a hot mess. Like I was so upset. I think I took pictures. I think I did. I don't know. I don't even know if I documented it because I was just so convinced that I was going to shave my head to the point where I was sitting down in the chair looking up short haircuts because I was this close to cutting my hair off because she did my hair so tight that I could not even feel my scalp. So I gave it the two days. I covered my hair the two days because I just did not like how my hair looked. So I covered my hair the two days and I was like, I'm not dealing with this. I am not tolerating this. Then it got so tight that by the third day, I literally started pulling out the nape of my neck and like my edges because of how tight it was. Then to make everything else worse, oh, the story continues. Then to make everything else worse, she combined a lot of my locks without telling me. And guys, that was where I almost lost my mind. I'm like, how do you combine someone's locks without telling them? You didn't even like, maybe one or two of them I okayed because they really were very thin. And I was like, I'm probably gonna lose these locks over time. So I agreed with her that some of them needed to be tightened or um, combined. But because she got tired of doing my hair, she started combining a bunch of my locks. So like the front part of my head, like all my locks are combined. But the part that killed me is this. She didn't combine my locks and then twist them together. Oh no, she combined them at the roots and left them. And I was like, sis, what is you doing? And I didn't know, guys, I'm telling you, it was so bad. I think I did a video and I was so sad in the video that I started crying because I was like I cannot believe I worked this hard on my hair to get this far for it to get messed up but I have since gone through and I took out some of the ones that she doubled that I didn't think needed to be doubled and I separated them and I you know tightened the roots myself and needless to say I will not be going back to her ever 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 <laughs> and I have learned my lesson so I will probably request a consultation before I go sit in someone's chair just for them to see my hair see the thickness of my hair how much hair they're gonna have to do so that they know from the minute I walk up in there that I got a big old head and a head full of locks and it's gonna take you some time okay so it was a learning experience for me and I just wanted to share it with you guys that if you are going to go see a loctician and she books you for a retie for three hours, no matter how much of a professional that person is, maybe you want to book a cons consultation or even a video call and say, hey, um, I have X amount of locks in my head or I have a lot of locks or micro locks or whatever I think it would be beneficial if we did a consultation I know it can be expensive to pay for a retightening as it is but I think that $20 would have saved me a lot of like heartache and pain <laughs> so I think that $15 $20 however much they're charging for a consultation I think that would be a bit beneficial if you are going to a new salon or going to a new loctician to get your hair retightened just so that you don't get screwed over the way that I did. Um, so we will see. I'm still not very happy with my hair because I know it looks full and I know it looks like it's fine and everything but a lot of the combined locks are really driving me crazy and I'm worried that as my hair continues to swell, there's going to be so, so, so much inconsistencies with my lock sizing. And yeah, that's a, that's a little thing that I'm worried about. But that was my little story from hell. So let me guys know what you think about that. Like, should I have walked out of there? Should I have not given her extra money? Like, I don't even know. I think at that point, I wanted to just be out of her chair. <laughs> that I was just like, just do anything. Just finish my hair so I can go. I started my appointment at 8 o'clock and I did not leave there until 5.48 p.m. So, yeah. It was, it was a rough day. It was a rough day and then the following weeks were rough too. So, let me know what you guys think. Like, what would you have done had that been you? Was I crazy? Like, should I have left? I feel like I should have left, but 
you know what hindsight is 2020 it is what it is but yeah that is it thank you guys for watching again let me know what you think down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video don't forget to share it if you want to and obviously follow me on instagram and i will see you guys later bye <laughs>